All right, I just finished printing the um, battery holder. Uh, essentially, this was originally designed to run off of a, um, a separately purchased wall adapter. This is a 120 volt to 5 volt DC adapter. Uh, it then feeds this cable and then the cable itself plugs into the back of the unit. <clears throat> that way when I actually need to charge my little hand scanner here, uh, I literally just place it here in the holder and it begins to charge. So there's no cable uh, from the hand scanner to the supply, the voltage supply right there. So basically all that has to be done is it just sets in there uh, and then the two magnets uh, take over and they, uh, they uh, charge the little hand scanner. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and unplug this because I can't have the cable and the 5 volt adapter plugged in at the same time. So basically what this is for is say I'm at a convention and I've left my uh, charger, my adapter, say in my suitcase. Uh, I can actually charge the little hand scanner uh, independent and separately of any cables. So I'm going to go ahead and set this aside. I'm going to put the 9 volt battery in place here. Okay, um, and you saw the little blue LED come on. Basically, I'm going to print a back here. This will be like an access uh, panel will be placed here in the back. So all that you would see is essentially this little box that holds the battery. This is a little 9 volt battery, and my uh, my base. This is the base to hold the little hand scanner. So as you can see, it's just a little small hand scanner. Uh, has little LEDs, and it does. Uh, you can see it does play sound, and I like the idea that the LEDs face outward uh, from the top rather than out from the side, because that way you can actually see the little the little design that it makes. You see the little amber LEDs um, going in a circle with the green one blinking. So it's a very unique setup. Um, this is totally 3D printed. Um, the battery's uh, encased in here. Uh, I don't have to take anything apart or thread out the bottom or the back or the top. It essentially is totally self-contained and no reason to get into the hand scanner at all. So basically I just set it in here and the LED there turns red. So I, I don't know if you can tell that <clears throat> it is a red LED right now and it's in the full charge mode. When I take it out it goes blue and I put it back in and it goes red. So it's totally independent, uh, no cabling uh, required at all uh, unless I need to. Uh, I, it just uses one cable and one 5 volt adapter. Again, this has to be purchased separately. Um, in any case, whenever you have something that charges uh, a 3.7 volt battery, you most likely would have to purchase uh, separately a 5 volt uh, wall adapter. So anyway, there you go. Just wanted to show that it's working and it's starting to turn purple. Uh, basically what that is, is the red and the blue are lit at the same time. Uh, so right now there's the blue. We put it in place. There's kind of a purpley look. And when it discharged down, it was more red than it was purple. And uh, so there you go. It works great. It's uh, compact. Uh, again, 3D printed. And um, I left it white because the hypo spray that I'm using this for uh, will also be white. And so I just set it in place like that. And you can see there's red and it'll start to turn to a blue uh, as it charges. So there you go. No cable, no wall adapter unless you actually need it. And uh, I just wanted to show that to you. It's just kind of a unique setup that I have here. You can see there that it uh, does what it's supposed to do. Um, so there you go. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Okay, all right, there you go.